What's good everyone, it's me, Manistros here, back again on some Ryzen 3. So I'm not doing a uh, online thing, finally, you know, well, I don't want to say finally, but I know I kind of flooded the channel with online sessions in the parking lot. But anyways, I'm going to show you this new build and tuning style that Mystified was uh, nice enough to give me. He does share his tunes on the storefront, just so you guys know. But first I'm going to go and show you guys uh, the upgrades. Stock motor. Barely makes any power. And I feel like you might need, some of the cars will need to be <clears throat> wide body cars for this setup. I don't know, it's just me. I have built other cars that didn't really need it, but they felt better when they did have it. Uh, anyway, stock tire compound, 205s in the front. And then for every car, you want to do like a max of 255s. I did put 19s on this, I don't know, it kind of works. Uh, drivetrain, that's all race. Platform and handling, everything is race up until the cage. You do not put a cage in. And you want to try to keep it around stock weight for some cars. It's still around that like 3200, you know what I mean? If, you, if your car is heavier than 3200, I would say, you know, bring it to about that if you can. Just uh, my personal input. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I think I'm coming down with a cold or something damn cold weather in Florida caught me off guard anyways let's see we got a race intake sport fuel street ignition race exhaust race cams race valves race block race pistons stock turbo stock intercooler stock oil and cooling and then it's sport flywheel. Now for the tuning. The tuning is uh, it's definitely different, but it works really well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, there's the tire PSI 34.5 and 26.5 gearing. I'll go ahead and you know let that sit there for a second so you guys can pause it if you want to copy it down. All right, there you go. You can hopefully uh, unpause by now. Uh, alignment. Negative 5 in the front, 0.8 in the rear, 0.8 toe in the rear, and then 7 caster, 36 and 31 for the roll bars, and then 597 for the front springs, and a whopping 163 for the rear. And then the front is raised slightly. Uh, dampening is 9282. Bump 5854. Brake is 4080. Now, this kind of threw me off because I was like, well, to the rear, then I'm going to be, you know, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know what to think, but I tried it and it was absolutely, <clears throat> excuse me, absolutely amazing. You can really just, you know, you can ride the brakes a lot. You make sure that uh, everything is set. Jesus. I, I feel like the UI changes a lot and it bothers me sometimes. Sure it's still on 270. It is. Alright, turn the clutch back on. Alright. Now we'll be revisiting a couple cars that I have built in the past and uh, showing you, you know same method I guess you could say oh, oh oh gonna pass it gonna pass it gonna pass it that was uh that was almost bad all right I'm only gonna do like two runs here then I'm probably gonna go hit up the airport just because I know some of you are probably sick of seeing the parking lot First run of the day. I didn't really play any fours yesterday either, so we get a couple one up runs in. It's just oh my god! It's so nice. Shout out to Mystify for this. This is just like phenomenal. I started putting 
this, you know, this style on a lot of other cars, believe me, a lot. And they all work phenomenally. And the cars do get a lot of angle. Because I almost got a little bit too much there and spun. was a bad line going into that son of a bitch. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go hit up the airport. Kind of want to try to the construction yard. Eh, we'll be all right. No, there, there. Thank you. <coughs> oh man. Back is hurting. It's almost Thanksgiving. I am so happy to be able to get a shit ton of food. It's gonna be so nice. Alright. I haven't tried it on this layout. There's another one that is kind of shaped like a potato. So mint. Oh my god. Well, with these springs, man, the car is really squat. It's really nice. It's really plainly. <clears throat> I'm trying to knock as many videos out tonight as I can. Because, uh, you know, Thanksgiving, Black Friday. I'm going to be a busy man this week. Probably should have went down a second there. And my freaking wheel stand is sliding right now. The car just sits so nice. Oh, and go there I go. Talking about the car and messing up. Let me readjust my wheel here. Felt a little slid a little bit. Threw me off. Do one more run here, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit up. Uh, probably go hit up like the lime rock section, maybe. I haven't done that in a long time. It's like tuning building style is so predictable too. Like, there you go talking about it. But it's very, it's like, if you know, if you feel like you just messed up, you probably did, but it's nice because you can still kind of correct it and save it a little bit. And I think the weight really helps. Alright, let's try the lime rock section. Hopefully the load time isn't insanely fast. Or is insanely fast, Jesus. I think I am getting cold. Maybe I'm sitting weird. Who knows? Maybe that's why the wheel stand slid out a little bit. I mean, really shallow. Oh my god, so shallow. Oh, 
I want to say it's just because maybe the power? Okay. Stay in your lane. Kill King X, please. Oh my god. Thought I was in America there for a second. But they were on the wrong side of the road. Damn it! Oh my god. Come on, because I know you I know you drive cars can't turn. in the end not bad all right I will take it come on anger please thank you that run was just shit awkward mix of driver cars right now all right well that's gonna do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed definitely give this a shot like this is this is an amazing build style tuning style it's Man Man Shores. getting hot here i'll see you guys later